so hi and welcome back and it's a very bright sunny but actually quite cool afternoon in April and I had bought this film and was warned when I bought it there was no development time for it and I'd had to work that out for myself which I did uh, it's Spur Ultra 800 which is a 50 ISO high super high contrast film I believe it's actually manufactured or was manufactured for copying documentation so um, you know up for archival reasons and things like that it is unbelievable it is just truly crazy film you have to get the exposure spot on with it if you don't you're in trouble um, there's a few photographs I'll go through with you as I talk through uh, the different shots I took with it and just between the light and the shade there's no there's, it's completely unforgiving so you'll see the shot I'll, I'll put it up now of, uh, of, of Kings Cross Station with the cranes in the background and I've lost the foreground to shadow and it is really really just there was there was no real shadow it was just slightly darker um, the other thing that uh, I've discovered with it, it it's got no grain it is, it is it out resolved my uh, my my Sony a7 III and when I zoomed in I was seeing pixels not grain that's that's another interesting thing about it and the way I actually worked out the development time was I've actually put it in originally with another roll of film so what I'd do is I'd take one tiny piece of the film take a single shot put that in the developer develop it and see how it come out and it was really really dark uh, so I decided what I would do is I would bring down the time by a minute ago and then see if it needed a half minute increment um, and what I ended up doing was I did it for nine minutes eight minutes and ended up on seven minutes as a development time in ID 11 in stock solution so if you're interested in buying some of this spur stuff uh, it's nicks and tricks I got it from and um, yeah I, I found it developed fine at, as I say at seven minutes in ID 11 so uh, let's have a look at the photographs so I just got a number of different shots in different places and it was taken over quite a few days so there's a couple of shots in London a couple of shots in in town and a couple of really crap shots <laughs> anyway I was going to show you I'm going to go through all of these so you can see just how well high resolution this film really is so I'll start with one of my favorite shots and um, I really need to get better at cleaning my negatives but when you see this zoom in you'll just see how high resolution this film is now remember this was taken with an olympus om20 with a zuiko 50mm 1.8 lens and then copied with a samyang i think it's a 90mm was a 100mm lens 100mm um macro lens just look at that there's no grain at all even that far in in fact it will pixelate before you get the grain of the film and it's a 24 megapixel camera so that just goes to show just how high resolution this film really is and you can see the contrast is is ridiculously high uh i wanted to try out a shot of the nando sign and you can see it's come out completely black <laughs> i don't know why it i've got no idea but you can see um again there's not much mid-tone at all there is some like on the building back here but not a great deal and again, I wanted to do this shot with the Swan Hotel in the background and the Newnham sign. And yeah, it's it's a really difficult film to get the balance right, to get the right type of contrast in your light and then to nail the exposure. So it's not one of those films you can just go out happily and shoot away. You have to really, really be thinking about what you're doing. Now remember, I didn't know this when I took these shots. I, did, I had no clue what I was going to get. Now I know, I know the type of shots I need to go for with it if I do it again. I don't think I will, but it's just more fun than anything else. Oh, I don't know what on earth I was doing here. Again, this is one of the crap shots. It was a reef on the floor. Um, yeah, not good. And again, this is another shot with the another um, flower that was in the churchyard in the town centre where I live. But you can see, look at that. I mean, that's just incredible. Uh, 
And I, I've been trying to get a nice shot of this top of this post box. And obviously, uh, it's red. So it's going to have that effect of the... Because it's an ortho film, it's going to have the effect of the blackness on the red. But what I can't understand is, and perhaps you guys can tell me, on the previous shot of the man on the actual crossing, that's red as well, but it didn't come out black. So any ideas why that is? If you can let me know in the comments below. And this is just the back of a life belt. And um, as I say, you can barely see the background at all but you could, uh, over here. But when you zoom in, you just see how sharp that is. <laughs> just incredible. Uh, this one was taken in the town centre. That's actually a mirror. So someone had put their whatever it is, the Instagram thing on there and just dumped it in the middle of the town. And um, yeah, so that's quite, again, these are, uh, the, the, the light was just, I don't know, it was just an ordinary, normal overcast day on this. And this is what I got when I took this. Now, bearing in mind the background, it's actually leaning against a tree. And then the white area is where the mirror is reflecting. So, as I say, it's so hard to judge with this film what you're going to get. And again, in the graveyard, I've got to take some of the dafts. And um, they've actually come up quite nice. Um, but every tiny speck, every tiny mark will show this up. So if I, Because I've not cleaned these properly, you can see just how particular this film is. And again more daffs i just wanted to try it out and see what it was like i think i was focusing somewhere around here and you just see how, how high resolution this film really is it's just unbelievable why on earth i took this shot i haven't got a clue top of a post and i was walking back from uh my parents place and this is the um local authority offices and this uh warning parking patrol was there is, it hasn't come out as I expected it to. Um, it's really, really quite dark. Now, I, I thought I got the exposure right, but clearly I didn't. And now we're in London. And this is the, there's a Five Guys near Kingsford Station. And I like this kind of thing at the top here. But as I say, didn't nail it. Didn't get good focus either. Look at that. That's out of focus. And this one is at Victoria Station. I was there a few weeks ago and I was focusing on the 15 here. And you see just how much I can zoom in on that. It's incredible. And this one's again back in Bedford. But um, it gets darker as it goes um, higher, into, higher into the sky. Now, but what is interesting to me, when you zoom in on these bricks, look how sharp that is even that close up that's just amazing so i mean what i'm thinking about this film is if you can nail a shot with it if you can get it the exposure just right it is really really fantastic other than that it, it's difficult to tell what you're going to get when with some films you go out like your pan f's your fp4s you have a rough idea what, what you're going to get with this you won't And probably one of my favourite photographs, and the only part about it I don't like is the, um, you can't really see, it's, it's really dark um, where the entrance is to King's Cross, but um, I cropped it slightly on my Instagram, and um, if, you, if you see that, you'll see it's, it looks really, really cool, and it's just of the, like this area here, look at that, I mean, to me that's like, what an amazing shot, so, you know, again, I just, You've got to get the exposure spot on, and then you don't know quite what you're going to get. Wasn't overly impressed with this shot. Again, I was trying to get a nice shot of the underground with the King's Cross um, clock in the background. Hasn't really worked at all. And then one of the uh, King's Cross clock again. Um, you can zoom in and zoom in and zoom in, and yeah, look at that. Still really really sharp really clean and this is the final shot and it's just the um, plaque to the guy who um, designed King's Cross Station and um, I just love the the contrast you've got on this it is it, this is the one shot of the day I think I love the most and um, we'll zoom in and just see just how sharp that is again look at that 
and that's 35 mil film 35 mil film isn't dead long live 35 mil film anyway don't forget to like comment subscribe and i will see you in the next video